Hey guys, it's Jackie from Bibles and Coffee, and I'm here today to show you a quick video on how to put your new Bible tabs into your Bible. Let's get started. We are going to open up to the first page of the book that you're going to be placing your tab on, and you simply peel this off, and you're going to stick it up at the top of the page. You're going to make sure you only have one page because sometimes you'll get two. So make sure you have one, and then you're simply going to fold it over and let it stick itself together. And that's it. You find your next book, and these tabs are not always gonna be in the order of your books. Majority of them are, but not all of them will be. So we just did Genesis. We're gonna go to Exodus, which is right here. And you're gonna wanna stagger them downward, kinda like page dividers in your binders from school. So you're gonna peel off Exodus, and to stagger it, you're gonna go on the opposite page and you're gonna see where it goes down to. You're gonna stick it gently, lift the page, and push it down. So now you have this effect of them going downwards so you can read them from no matter where you are in the Bible. And then we're just gonna keep going through it. And if you turn to a page where the start of the book is on the opposite side that you've been working on and you can't figure out how to stagger it, all you have to do is flip the page and put the sticky side backwards, stick it down, flip it back, and then push it down. So you're gonna be staggering it on this side, but it's gonna all match up. If you get to the bottom of the line and it doesn't fit, where you're not gonna be able to see both of them together, you can just start up at the top again. So one cool thing that you can do that I'm going to be doing is you can grab some washi tape and when you're done reading a book, um, you can kind of just break a piece off and mark the page. Um, I'm gonna be doing that with every book that I read through completely, just as a little reminder that that book is finished. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you do skip a book by accident and realize it a few tabs later, don't feel obligated to go and take all the tabs off and fix it. You can just add it back onto the page somewhere along. You're still gonna be able to read it and it's not gonna really mess up the order of things. So don't sweat it because I've done it. So when you hit Jonah, you're gonna start noticing that the books are only a page or two apart, so you're gonna wanna really be careful with placing your tabs. You can always peel them back if needed, but a lot of books are super close together in this part of the Bible, and you're just gonna wanna pay extra attention. So I normally look at the book I'm about to do, I look at the book that I just did, and I match it up to the tab that I just placed on it. And if that all matches up, then you're, you're good to go. And if it doesn't, then there's a book between the pages that you missed. And there are a few more tabs on here, these little guys that are blank. You can kind of put these wherever you want to. Some people like to use them to mark the top of where the Old Testament starts, or you can double up on one side by side to indicate where the New Testament starts and the Old Testament ends. So these, I think there's six or seven of them for you to use any way that you wish. Okay, so if you do stick it on the wrong page like I just did, just gently peel it up Halfway, you don't have to peel it entirely back apart. Just peel it up from the spot that it's stuck to on the page and gently peel it off of your page. These are super sticky because they're meant to stay on forever. So just be super gentle because you can rip your page. Um, but like I'm doing, you can gently peel it off. The page will be a little crinkled, but that's okay. And you're gonna stick it back on the right page. But like I did, you don't have to separate the entire sticker. You're just gonna peel it from where it sticks on the page and you're going to put it on the correct page, like so, and voila. Okay, so I just finished putting all of my Bible tabs into my Bible. It took about 20, 25 minutes. It was super, super easy, and it made my Bible look extremely colorful. Um, I cannot wait to see these in your guys' Bibles, so if you do post pictures, please, please, please tag me on Instagram, on Facebook, 
um, wherever that may be. You can follow along on all the links down below, and I'm just so excited to see you guys use these things. With that said, I need to go find my coffee. What did you put in here? <laughs> this coffee from yesterday. <laughs>